Good morning, everyone, and thank you for inviting me to open today's event. I'm sorry I can't be with you in Manchester, where I know you'll all be sharing ideas and possibilities for the future of transport. That's a future in which ITS UK and its members will play a really important part. Not only in developing systems and services and advocating for new technologies, but also offering the expertise and experience that we'll need to meet the challenges of tomorrow. I'm grateful for your engagement with government. It was great to get round the table with ITS UK back in December to discuss our shared ambitions and how we can work together to achieve them. Now, AI will be central to that. It has the potential to improve travel experiences through smoother journey planning, closer integration between modes and improved screening at ports and airports. My department's forthcoming Transport AI strategy will set out how we will seize those opportunities with responsible innovations that will deliver cheaper, cleaner and quicker journeys for all. We'll also lay plans for increased research, development and deployment, both within the department and across the wider sector. This all builds on the work of the National AI Strategy in shaping the UK into a hotbed of innovation. We're already making excellent progress. Our investment in developing the national parking platform will revolutionise how we find and pay for parking. And our plan for drivers committed to investing £70 million in maintaining and upgrading traffic signals, introducing the next generation of AI control systems. Projects to digitise traffic control data will prepare our networks for automated vehicles, technology which could be on our streets far sooner than you think. The Automated Vehicles Bill will make its way into the House of Commons for second reading in the coming weeks, outlining the rigorous safety framework, clear liability structure and regulatory environment that we need to kickstart a revolution on our roads, a new era for transport that will be cleaner and greener than before. The transition to zero emission vehicles will help us meet our climate commitments, supporting high quality jobs and economic growth in communities across the country. That's why the government has spent over £2 billion to encourage uptake, including offsetting higher upfront costs and accelerating the rollout of charge point infrastructure. Our ZEV mandate requires 80% of new cars and 70% of new vans sold in Great Britain to be zero emission by 2030, putting us on a pathway to 100% zero emission by 2035. It's the most ambitious regulatory framework of its kind and will bring the certainty investors and consumers need, transforming the way we travel. Seismic shifts are not achieved in silos. Government needs you, the industry, to keep rising to the challenge. And we'll keep listening to your questions, concerns and challenges as we shape a transport network fit for the future. So thank you for bringing your expertise to today's event and taking part in what I'm sure will be a lively, productive discussion. I look forward to working with you to put your plans into action and to deliver on our ambitions together.